It's official. Xi Jinping will continue as the president of China, and with the changes to the standing committee, Xi has run the tables and surrounded himself with close political allies. Now, Western media is universally negative about Xi Jinping and portray him as an authoritarian dictator on a quest to take over the world. But is this Xi's objective? Or does he genuinely just want the best for his country? Here is what we do know. When Xi Jinping came into power 10 years ago, China was in a crisis, and the Communist Party was also in a crisis. Corruption was rampant, there were hundreds of thousands of protests, and there was infighting at the top of the Communist Party. Xi responded by launching an anti-corruption campaign that completely changed how government officials at every level conducted business. Xi also ramped up ideological discipline within the party. Xi is a great historian of Chinese history, and interesting enough, his father was a high-ranking government official who believed his mission mission was to form a strong China. Xi Jinping now believes he has inherited that mission and wants to make China even stronger in the future. As controversial as Xi Jinping is in the West, he has changed China tremendously in the past 10 years. So let's break down 10 major accomplishments China has achieved since Xi Jinping has come into power. But please make sure that you watch to the end of today's video as I will also present the five biggest challenges facing China in the future. Number one, China has doubled its GDP. China's GDP was 8.53 trillion in 2012 and grew to 17.7 trillion in 2021, representing an increase of 107% over the last decade. A growing Chinese economy has helped hundreds of millions of Chinese citizens enter the middle class, and it remains one of the major priorities for Xi Jinping in his next five years as president. Number two, China has solidified itself as the manufacturing hub of the world. So much of what we consume in our everyday lives come directly from factories in China. China used to be known for making cheap toys, clothes, and cheap electronics electronics, but with the Made in China 2025 vision, China has shifted to becoming the world leader in developing some of the most advanced technologies in the world. Smartphones, computers, high-tech gear, most of it is now made in China. In 2011, China officially overtook the United States as the largest global manufacturer, and it has been steadily increasing every year. Even with the pandemic and continuous lockdowns, China's market share continued to accelerate, and it now holds a 30% market share of global manufacturing. Number three, China built an incredible high-tech tech industry. In 2012, China had very little presence in smartphones, solar panels, electric cars, telecom, but fast forward to today, and China is dominating in most of these industries. Chinese brands like Alibaba, WeChat, Huawei, DJI have all become successful brands with massive appeal worldwide. And let's not forget that China has created the world's fastest growing social media app with TikTok. TikTok has become so successful that Facebook, Instagram, and even YouTube have had to shift their business models to catch up with TikTok's success. Number four, China has led the world in poverty alleviation. At the start of 2012, nearly 100 million Chinese citizens lived in absolute poverty, which is defined as those who earn less than 4,000 renminbi per year. In the last decade, absolute poverty has been completely eliminated in China, and more Chinese citizens have reached the middle class. However, the work against poverty in China isn't over, as even China's premier, Li Keqiang, said in May 2020 that 40% of Chinese people earn an average of 1,000 renminbi per month. Number five, China has led the world in pollution reduction. Reduction. When I first went to China in 2007, the skies were full of smog and pollution was a real challenge for everyone living in major cities. In the past decade, China has become the world's largest investor, producer, and consumer of renewable energy worldwide by manufacturing state-of-the-art solar panels, wind turbines, and hydroelectric energy facilities, as well as becoming the world's largest producer of electric cars and buses. Number six, China has built the world's largest trade network. When the 19th Party Congress met in 2017, China's government stated their main goal for the next five years was to expand the Belt and Road Initiative and make it the most valuable trade network in the world. The BRI is the centerpiece of Xi Jinping's foreign policy, and as of August 2022, 149 countries have signed up to participate in the project. Check out this video from currencies around the world showcasing new infrastructure projects that have been built by China. Today, the Belt and Road Project affects more than 60% of the world's population and 35% of the world's economy. Number seven, China has become a military superpower. Many Westerners will worry about China becoming a strong military, but are these worries justified? Well, according to General Miley, the highest ranking US military official, it's not. According to the American general, 
general, China is a superpower, and this is what all superpowers do, build a strong military. When we look at this from the Chinese perspective, it's easy to understand why China's strong military is a source of national pride. With the world's largest navy and one of the most powerful militaries in the world, China has guaranteed that no country will ever invade its land again. I see this as a remarkable similarity between the US and China. Both country citizens are extremely proud of their nation's military capabilities and believe they are in a position where no country in the world would want to directly engage in direct conflict with them. This is true for both China and the United States. Number eight, China has built the world's best transportation network. When China hosted the Summer Olympics in 2008, the country had a handful of high-speed rail lines, but in the past decade, China has covered every province and connected one of the biggest countries in the world via high-speed rail. China has also invested heavily in urban transportation. Of the world's 200 metro systems, over half of them are in China. Finally, China is testing the world's fastest commercial train, the CRRC 600, which will travel over 600 kilometers an hour and make its debut in 2025. Number nine, China will dominate the future of space. America has always been the key player in space exploration, but with the International Space Station planning to be decommissioned in 2031, China has seized an incredible opportunity and is building its own space station. In less than a decade, the only only functioning space station in the universe will be Chinese, giving China an incredible edge to be the most dominant nation in space exploration. Just this week at the Party Congress, China announced it will continue its plan to send a Chinese astronaut to the surface of the moon. And number 10, China is producing more educated citizens. In the past decade, China's general enrollment ratio in university doubled from 29% to 58%. In addition, China is currently producing the largest amount of STEM graduates in the world and leading the world in AI research publishing 27% of all AI journal articles worldwide. Put yourself in the shoes of your average Chinese citizen who have seen all of these accomplishments over the past decade, and you will begin to understand why there are so many Chinese nationals, both in China and abroad, who are remarkably proud of their country. However, my goal with this YouTube channel is to always be as balanced and fair as possible, so let's not talk just about the good. Let's also highlight some of the major challenges facing China as Xi Jinping starts his third term. Here are the five biggest, in my opinion. Opinion. Number one, China is facing a severely aging population. By 2035, China will have over 400 million citizens above the age of 60 and be defined as a severely aging country. As the population ages, less workers will be available and there will be huge challenges in providing enough public health facilities and running the national social security system. Number two, China has one of the fastest declining birth rates in the world. Chinese married couples dropped to a record low in 2021 with only 7.6 million marriages the lowest since 1986. In addition, China's fertility rate of 1.16 in 2021 was far below the average of 2.1 needed for a stable population. Combined with the aging population, these two factors are going to completely change how China looks in the coming decades. Number three, China's falling property sector. Chinese real estate developers have been overextending themselves with many top national firms in severe debt. Overall, the real estate market is in jeopardy of a major correction, and with real estate accounting for 29% of China's GDP, the government will have a lot of pressure to ensure projects are completed and stability is guaranteed in this valuable sector. Number four, future growth prospects. China's economy is contracting and the future isn't as bright as it was just a few short years ago. Earlier, I mentioned that China is graduating more students than ever, but youth unemployment hit nearly 20% this summer at the exact time that some 11 million new college graduates hit the job market. The future is very difficult for China's youth and this is a point that Xi Jinping and acknowledged during the party congress when he told the delegates that China's younger people were living in a remarkable time. And the fifth major challenge is going to be zero COVID. It was highly expected that after Xi received his third term, he would provide a timeline or even possibly end China's zero COVID policy. However, Xi Jinping has doubled down and said there will be no change from the policy. Pursuing zero COVID will no doubt save lives, but it will also come with an opportunity cost and be felt in the contracting Chinese economy. President Xi's renewed pledge to grow China into a medium developed country by 2035 implies doubling the size of the economy from the 2020 level, which will be a challenging goal given the nation's slower growth trajectory. And finally, let me add in one last major challenge, and that is rising tensions with the West. I started this YouTube channel two and a half years ago to hopefully improve US-China relations. But here we are two and a half years later, and it appears that the US and China is moving dangerously closer to conflict. The road ahead will not be easy for China, 
or any country for that matter. And as we've seen with the geopolitical events of 2022, the world is in a very precarious position. My hope is that people around the world can see some of the good that China is also doing while recognizing that China, like all nations around the world, faces some extreme challenges in the future. The key is for everybody in this planet to come together and contribute to this global economy. Everybody, thank you for making it to this point in the video. And I want to give a huge shout out to SL Canthan on Twitter, whose thread was the inspiration for today's video. China has changed tremendously in his first 10 years of Xi Jinping leadership, but now I want to hear from you. How do you think China will change in the next 10 years? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you for spending time with me here on YouTube, and I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.